If you want to smell like a top selling fragrance for a fraction of the cost, this is actually quality and it has a bargain price tag with it. Actually performs quite well too. You want to hear all about it? Let's do it. What is up, Frank fam? Welcome back to another video. My name is Max Forte. This is a channel that we talk about smelling great and making a great first impression. Today we're going to be covering this fragrance from the house of Roberto Capucci. This one is called L'Homme Sauvage, now known as L'Homme Suave because they went into litigation because the name was quite similar to the fragrance that it emulates. I'm going to get to it in just a second, but before I do that, guys, if you do enjoy this channel, if you like the content, please don't forget to show your support. I will love you for it. It's very simple. Hit that like button, subscribe for a lot more, and of course, don't forget to enable notification. That way you guys are always in tune with anything and everything that happens in the fragrance world straight into your feed. This particular fragrance was released in 2016, and it can be had for a bargain of a price. We're talking about anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks for a 100 mil like this. This is an EDT Eau de Toilette concentration. The company, Roberto Capucci, has been around since 1963 and it's an Italian fashion house. The presentation is nothing too crazy. The box is going to be this dark brown. It's kind of like, you know, Z14 from Halston. And the bottle is actually pretty cool. I like this contour, uh, you know, triangular shape. The juice is brown, which is pretty cool. You have the insignia here at the top of the plastic cap and the sprayer is actually a golden, uh, really nice sprayer actually. Cool miss, nothing crazy, nothing extraordinary, uh, you know, outstanding here with the presentation, but all in all, not too bad. What is good though is the juice here in. The juice is actually pretty pleasant. When you spray this fragrance, you're gonna get this herbal green lavender classy kind of a nuance. It's going to be followed by this sweet floral undertone along with a considerable dose of ambroxan, a little bit of a leather feel, kind of suede-like leather, a little hint of tobacco in the undertone, incense and patchouli. If it sounds familiar, this is a very crowd-pleasing scent, a very universally appealing scent that anyone can rock and really smell great without having to try too hard. And that's a good thing in my book. This particular fragrance reminds me of Dior Sauvage. I actually tried both fragrances in both hands here. I have Dior Sauvage right here, the EDT. This is a woody spicy, also EDT, on this hand. And you know, note for note, you know, scent for scent, it's going to be about 95% similar to Dior Sauvage. About this here, what defers a little bit to Dior Sauvage is if you thought Dior Sauvage, the Ambroxan there was a little too sharp, too pungent for some people, this here is going to be a little bit more creamier, a little bit smoother and less sweet than Dior Sauvage, which I, which I do appreciate, especially for the price point between 15 and 20 bucks, I think is a true no-brainer, guys. <laughs> I did feature this particular fragrance on my Back to School 2018, which means, guys, if you are on a budget, I could have easily featured this on my BBB, you know, big bang for your buck. If you guys are on a budget, if you're a student, if you want to smell great and not have to break the bank, this is truly a scent that you should definitely consider, guys. 15 to 20 bucks for 100 mil, why not? This is spicier, creamier, and smoother version of Dior Sauvage. For this price point, you can drop this in your in your duffel bag or in your backpack. You can take it to the gym. I mean, it's a scent. You can be your office scent. You can leave it in your office. Whatever the case may be, guys, for this price point, you can't really beat it. Performance is actually quite good. I got five to six hours on average. If you spray your clothes, you're gonna get six to seven. Um, as far as sillage, it's gonna follow you, especially if you like me, you like to spray your clothes, you're gonna get really good sillage with this one. And the projection, it's gonna push really well for the first hour, hour and a half. Then it's gonna stay within your immediate surrounding. All in all, for the price point, it's a good performer as well. Just like Dior Sauvage, this here is very versatile. You can wear this all year round for all types of occasions. You can dress it up, dress it down, you can wear it casually, dress your, whatever the case may be, it's going to be one that's gonna garner your positive attention, just like Dior Sauvage. If you like the scent, if you like the genre, definitely guys, check this one out. My final thoughts on Roberto Capucci's L'Homme Suave, formerly known as, uh, you know, L'Homme Sauvage. I do like the scent a lot, especially for the price point, as I mentioned to you guys three times on this video. Guys, it's a no-brainer for the price point. It's If you want to smell like Dior Sauvage, you don't want to spend retail or even at the discount sites, you're going to be looking to pay between, you know, 40, 50, 60 bucks for a fraction of that cost. You can get the same, essentially the same smell that performs quite good. And from what I hear, some of the reformulations are also lacking in performance. So all in all, if you like this type of Dior Sauvage scent, this is a great alternative for sure. 
Let me know if you have tried Roberto Capucci's L'Homme Suave. Have you, have you tried anything from this house whatsoever? They have a couple different ones. There is a um, Roberto Capucci Port Homme that's supposed to actually be pretty good. Anyway, guys, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance. If you have picked this up, if you actually wear this, or in any kind of Roberto Capucci offerings. I'd love to read your comments about other releases as well that I might be interested in picking it up and reviewing for you guys in the future. Thanks very much for tuning in. As always, you guys know it. Stay fragrant, keep on spraying, but remember, it's not just what you spray, but it's also how you play. I'll catch you guys in the next one.